Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 85 of the Zitutmerg Old School Super Airman series. And we're starting off with a pretty big level here 91 Rune Crafting in 2013. Fuck it, even 2014. This is probably the biggest level that you can get in the skill of Rune Crafting other than 99. And honestly, probably not even 99 because who the fuck's getting 99 before the max kit? A real tryhard, Jebrum. Uh, but yeah, no, we are one more level closer to 99 Rune Crafting, which is a goal that I am trying to shoot for by the end of the year. And uh, it was funny, I was watching Bass uh, last episode, and I think at some point I was like, it is April 5th, 2021, and I got 90 Rune Crafting, and it is now June 8th, 2021, and I've got 91 Rune Crafting, so I need to definitely pick up the pace. Otherwise, there's no way in hell I'm going to get 99 before 2021 is over. Fucking hell, bro. I get these levels like once every, like, blue moon. Like, no shit. It's been about, uh, 11 days, I think, since we got 91. And here we are. We just got 92. Officially, halfway to 99. Whoa. 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 Ha 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 ha. Bruh! What is this? I'm sitting here watching this freaking YouTube video and I go to freaking. Oh my god. Well, you know what I want to do. I used the freaking bind on the blood altar and we got a freaking pet. Bro, I saw the red text in the chat. That's what gives it away, bro. Like, I don't know about you, but whenever I see red text in the chat, like, I have my filters on, like, whenever I'm killing a monster, like. Some people have it to where it's like 20k, you'll get red text in the chat. Fuck no, bro. Whenever I see red in the chat, I know I got something good. Holy fuck. Boys, this is insane. I've been doing nothing but rune crafting on RuneScape for like the past two weeks. As you can clearly see, I have not left Zia and I've crafted 42,000 blood runes. And if you've ever crafted blood runes before, you know exactly how long it takes to get this many. And we just got rewarded, man. We just got fucking rewarded. Hard work pays off. We still do have a lot of levels to go, um, and it's kind of a blessing in disguise, I guess, because it, not to say that you're rune crafting aimlessly, but obviously whenever you're skilling on this game and you're going for 99, it's really cool to try and get the pet. And like, let's say you're going for like, I'm going to get on a ramble here, but just just go with it. God damn it. There's not much I've been able to do on this game slash record. But, you know, let's say you're going for like 99 woodcutting or something and like you get the pet at like 80 woodcutting and you're just kind of like, fuck. All right. Well, I'm just chopping you know, whatever the fuck, teaks and mahoganies and redwoods for nothing. Obviously, if you don't get the pet and you get 99, then it really sucks. But anyway, we just got ourselves a fucking Rift Guardian. That was amazing, bro. What the hell? I'm still kind of in shock. Is this the second pet that we've gotten in the last two episodes? I'm trying to think. Did I get a pet? Yeah, I did. Holy fuck. I got the golem pet. It was like two months ago because it takes so long to upload these videos because all I'm doing is skilling and skilling super fucking slow. But god damn, dude, this is two episodes in a row where we have gotten skilling pets on two of the slowest skills we have left to get to max. That's fucking awesome. Wow. I guess my mic was muted for this clip, but, um, yeah, 93 runecrafting, woo. Kill me. Alright, so this is kind of random, but I have literally not been doing anything on this game other than runecrafting, and so I decided to, you know, stop runecrafting for the moment, and I am going to deposit some money into miscellaneous because it has been, you know, it's been months. What can I say? Um, I'm going to put all my money in there for now. I'll probably out some stuff because, as you can see, we have, like, no GP. This is literally all the GP I have in my name. But uh, herbs and money. There's really nothing too beneficial from miscellanea because, I mean, I guess mining. But I don't think you can get gold ore. But you can get, like, coal and stuff. Because, I mean, otherwise, like, take a look. Like, you know, fish. What is that going to do for me? You know what I mean? Farming, what is that going to do for me? Like, I don't really need seeds. And, like, I have plenty of herbs. And so, yeah. Let's see Let's see what they give me, though. I'll be interested in see what kind of goodies I've got. Um, yeah, okay. It's been so long, I don't know if that's good or bad. But the seeds are shit. But, hey, we got some dirty herbs that I might pay to get clean. Because I don't know if I really want to do all the time and, and clean them myself. I might, but... Yeah, uh, what else did I want to do? Oh, yeah, it's been forever since I got that pet. I got that pet, like, a week ago. Shout out to Bobby. Just got released from, uh, 
prison, I believe. Uh, and so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, I don't think I've come up with a specific color for him. I mean, he looks cool as red. Maybe like, I wonder, because I think there is a different sprite, if you will, or animation or color design for every single altar. I wonder what he'd look like at like a body altar or something. You know what I mean? That'd be pretty fucking dope. But I know you can change him to lock on to whatever essence you bind um, versus if you just take him to an altar. Um, it, we're not going to bother. I, maybe I'll change him up. I don't know. But I need to insure him because I don't think... Yeah, he is not insured. And holy shit, I don't have any money to insure him. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Hold up. I'm not even going to lie. I kind of forget which shit in my bank I wanted to keep and which shit I did. I think I wanted to keep track of all my rune items, but I think I'm going to alcohol this shit because this is stuff from smithing. So yeah, let's see how much, well, we can actually find out how much money we're going to get. 1.3 plus 3 plus 6, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Uh, was that like 5 mil? Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're done alking. That took forever. When I say it took two hours, you know what I mean. What do you guys think about that, by the way? Me putting in like random ass music. Like I put a future song, I put an X song in before. Anyway, let's just, let's, let's ensure this bitch. <laughs> we do not want to have another Buxton situation on our hands. 500k. How many pets do we have in total? We have ourselves eight pets. May that is fucking sick, dude. I am very, very happy at that. My favorite, honestly, dude, once I get the good old firelighters, I will probably say this is my favorite. But the rock golem is pretty awesome, too, just because you can change its color. Cause like, I don't know, it, part of me is like, I like the pet because not a lot of people have it, but also the other 10, you know, it looks really cool. Cause like KBD looks awesome, but a lot of people have KBD, you know what I mean? So you kind of go back and forth, but at the end of the day, OSRS pets are always badass, regardless of how common or uncommon they are or how ugly or ugly they might be. Okay. I just watched that back how pretty or ugly they might be <laughs> guys. It finally freaking happened. So I don't know when the hell this video is going to come out, but I think, what is today, Friday? Yeah, Friday. Uh, and I believe it was on Tuesday that Jagex finally did something that they've been talking about doing for like literally six months, and that is nerf the blowpipe. The blowpipe has officially been nerfed to hell like it was when it was originally um, freaking proposed and people were freaking out and like yada, 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 this, that, and the third, and like, oh my God, oh my God. And it's fine because they added in a new weapon in the game. And I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with it. I'm sure everybody, everybody already has made a bunch of videos about it. And by the time this fucking episode comes out, it's probably going to be debunked. And everybody's going to know whether it is as good as people think it is now or if it ends up being not that good and overhyped. But uh, shout out to this guy who has the pet. But yeah, they had uh, the new ranged weapon that's kind of supposed to supplement the blowpipe and kind of low-key rival the twisted bow. And that is the, I don't know what the fuck it's called. It's basically the crystal bow upgraded. It is the Blailed of Saldor, but in ranging form. So it's like the new kind of low-key best in slot range weapon, right? Because like the Blade of Saldor is the best in slot slash weapon. And so the new crystal bow that you get from the gauntlet is supposed to kind of be best in slot range weapon, but like no thing can ever beat the twisted bow. But I actually watched JQ Osaurus video on it and he said that like low key, it's not quite as good as the twisted bow, obviously, because that pitch is like still like almost a bill or whatever. Um, but it's like actually just as good, if not a little bit worse and even a little bit better at certain places. But I don't know, it might've gotten nerfed. I don't really keep up with the game that much. Um, but I've been rambling for almost two minutes now, and all I want to say is I have been doing runecrafting, and that is, you know, kind of been the main thing I've been doing on this game for weeks now. But 
I want to now start doing the gauntlet and I want to record myself and put it in the video because it gives me motivation and it gives me incentive to actually learn how to do it because if you look on the screen, right, I made that, I think it was episode 80 or 81 where we set all those goals for the year and one of my goddamn goals was to learn how to do the goddamn corrupted gauntlet and try and hunt for the Blail of Sildor. But not only now do we have the Blail of Sildor to go for, shout Snapchat, but we also have the freaking new bow, which I do not remember the goddamn name and it's pissing me off. What is this bow called? What is it? Bow of Ferdhinen. Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, we're runecrafting for now, but in the next clip, hopefully, we have completed our first gauntlet. We have to do the gauntlet at least once before we can do the corrupted gauntlet. So, yeah, let's do it. I think I gotta talk to Bryn. What am I doing down here? I want to get the new bow. That's right. Because I don't know if I can fathom using the freaking blowpipe after knowing that it sucks now. So, can I go? Yeah, I'm not a hardcore man. I don't care. Yeah. All right. I watched one video that was like seven minutes long, and I'm not going to lie, I have really bad ADHD, and I was room crafting while I was watching it, so I didn't really pay too much attention. You're going down. We did it! Let's go! Ha! We completed it! Yeah! 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 We get. We get. Okay. That's valid. That's valid. 60k in like... 12 minutes. Alright, alright. We'll see how many uh, regular gauntlets we'll do before we start doing the, the corrupted gauntlets. Easy game, bro. Easy game, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My ego is starting to get a little little more inflated. All right. All right. No. No. Yeah. 852, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a lot better. Massive improvements have been made. All right, first attempt here at the Corrupted Gauntlet. Wish me luck, we've done 10 regulars, so. Oh my god. Come on. No way! Oh, no way, bro! Oh my god! Oh my god. Bro, I swear, dude. I can't imagine doing that. Okay, this is the first. That was the first time I ever did the Corrupted Gauntlet. But I noticed even with the regular Gauntlet, dude, like, with rigor and like i've made the perfect bow and the freaking staff and i still hit hella zeros like i do have the basic armor so i'm not sure if that's i would assume maybe that boosts your attack bonuses i know it definitely boosts your defense bonuses but bro i can't hit for shit like i don't know what the hell is going on but that was really fucking close for my first ever corrupted gauntlet attempt
fuck. That was going to be a good run, too. <laughs> Boys, we are stacked to the brim. Oh, I need to cook these. We are stacked to the brim with supplies. I better not fucking... I better be able to get this, bro. I swear, if I get comboed out with, like, all my food left, I'm going to be salty. What? Wait, 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 wait. Huh? What? 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 Was it not? This... Okay, well, I went back and looked at the reason I died, and it's as simple as me mistaking the animation where he throws out all of those, like, torches or whatever as the animation for him changing his attack style. And, uh, yeah, in the regular gauntlet, it only hits, like, 20s, 30s, maybe a 40, but in this one, it hits, like, a 40 every time. And, yeah, I got fucking destroyed because it threw off my rhythm, and I had no idea what attacks were coming. Haha. <laughs> Oh my god, I think we're gonna do it boys. I think we might get it. Yes! Let's go! We did it! Yes, we did it! We comped the corrupted gauntlets. Oh let's go. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Okay. How much is that? How much money do we make in just under eleven minutes? 120k. Not bad. The crystal shards are actually gonna go a long way. Because, you know, we need those for divine potions. We need those for if we get one of those big, bad, sexy seeds. I don't know. I don't know. But this is the first of many corrupted gauntlets to be completed. What do you know? On my second ever completed corrupted gauntlet, we got ourselves an elite clue scroll. And by the way, we made it out with... Literally no food in like 10 HP, so Nice, we got ourselves another elite clue just to my fourth completed and for those of you guys who want to see how I'm doing I'm struggling man. I'm struggling. We have completed four and we've died ten times <laughs> I feel like it's been a minute. I don't think we opened any clue scrolls last episode Which is like that's got to be some sort of oddity like I don't think that's happened in like 20 episodes So let's go ahead and start off with somewhat of a bang. All right, all right, two little uniques, not too bad. All right, let's do the hard clues here. Will we get ourselves, dude, fuck off. Give me the Bandos plate body, man. Will we get ourselves a master from the hard? Yes, we will. Nice, let's go do it. Righto, back to the regular scheduled program. Bet I'm gonna get another one from these elites, but we'll see. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Low-key surprise. Not going to lie. Okay, what do we get from the master? Firelighters. All right. I'll take that. I will take that. It's been forever since I've done a clue scroll, so I want to go ahead and check. I want to see the prices of all these pages. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, guys. A hundred... 1.8 mil for all of these pages. Armadillo pages are 20k each. What on earth? What on earth? The economy, 18k. Think about that, 18k for a Zamorak page. What on earth? Okay, sorry, I was mesmerized. I didn't even get to see how many firelighters we got. Okay, so is it 250? If it, is it 250 for the recolor? Because if it is, then I am very close, very close. Because we only need 20. We only need. I think it's 250. I think we only need four more red fire lighters. Um, so yeah, that's fucking exciting. Nice. So we just completed our 10th corrupted gauntlet completion. 
Uh, and let's go ahead and see what we get. No uniques. It is one in 400. I believe for the big time weapon seeds. And I think one in 50 maybe for like the armor seeds. So I can't really expect to get any uh, loot anytime soon, honestly. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the scoreboard. It's bad. I know it's bad. I know it's bad. Yeah, 10 completions and 20 deaths. I'm getting better. I think the biggest issue for me is my clicks are a little erratic. Uh, and on the final Hunlift phase, I'm finding myself clicking all over the place, especially like right at the very end, wherever the tiles start getting, uh, you know, heavily marked and he throws out the little tornadoes. And honestly, it's just click a tile, click a tile. Like as long as you're always moving, anybody who's doing the gauntlet, as long as you're always moving for the most part, you'll be fine. Right. And I've learned to kind of prioritize just moving around during those time periods, uh, as opposed to, you know, trying to move and attack and move and attack and like click all around because that is what has been causing me to die, uh, among just, you know, losing focus and not keeping track of the attacks. Uh, but, uh, getting pretty good, getting pretty good. The prep phase is, is probably something I am most happy with and most satisfied with when it comes to like my development and how good I am getting at the gauntlet, but the hun lift practice still needs a little bit of work, but it's fine. We're getting better. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave off the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching. Uh, I know I think what did we do we got some we did some rune crafting and we did some gauntlet but next episode probably be more of the same but you never know I might get a hankering for for another boss or something like that but yeah wish me luck